Welcome back everyone. First of all, I wanted to say thank you again to Sebs for making that amazing intro video. It's a new one this time. Hope you enjoy it. So today on the channel we have a few bits and pieces of successes and a few failures of FST. Hope you enjoy them. So first of all, we have um, a few pretty good pieces of navigation here. Just some general turns around a neighborhood. It uh, does fairly well. There's one piece that doesn't quite handle correctly here. You can see the cars coming, to, cars coming towards us here after this first truck are turning right. So we should be turning here, but it decides not to turn and decides to wait for those three cars uh, to pass before it, it moves. So again, I've been reporting all these. Hopefully it will improve the software as it goes forward. In the next few videos, I'll be starting to do some tracking of some data in terms of disengagements and reporting it on a website. I'll talk about that in the next video. That might provide some interesting statistics in terms of how FSC is improving. That's just another example of a fairly decent maneuver. Uh, making a right hand turn here, it actually creeps out and fairly smoothly waits for that car to pass and then pulls into the lane properly. In this next clip here, we have a left turn at a light with an advanced left for our lane. And it's following a big truck. And what happens here, unfortunately, is the truck makes a wide turn to the left in order to turn right. And the car tries to dart into the gap, even though the uh, truck is turning right into that area. So I had to intervene and stop it there. Next we have a left turn at that location we were at before uh, where we have a bit of a hill coming up but it was a successful left turn so that went fairly well. Here we have some uh, left and right immediate rights here after the left turn so that is a fairly su successful maneuver moving quite quickly through the neighborhood. Um, we do have the screen freezing here a couple times. You just saw it there if you rewind a tiny bit. And then again down here after we make the left turn, the screen freezes for a few seconds even though the car doesn't seem to be affected and keeps driving. A little bit disconcerting when uh, <laughs> the visualization seems to freeze up right there. But it did handle everything appropriately while that was happening. Here we have a bike path coming up. Unfortunately, there were no bikes crossing at the time I was here. Would have been really interesting to see how it handled that. That's often a quite a busy path. In this next clip, just showing a few more turns, just revert coming out of that same area we just pulled into. Handles everything fairly smoothly. Some, some tight turns, no problems. Coming up here, you can see the joys of beta testing software, deciding whether to intervene or stop the car when it's heading straight for a narrow gap like that. I guess it probably would have made it, but I just couldn't stop myself from hitting the brake there and intervening. Maybe somebody more brave than I am can, can try something like that and let it go. I don't think I've seen any actual crashes except for that one video where the car crashed into a little pylon in the middle of the road. So presumably it would stop itself most of the time. 
Here we have a right turn followed by a left turn at the lights. The car decided to create its own left turn lane and I had to stop it there. There's no left turn lane there. Last clip here, car going down the road, nothing in particular happening and all of a sudden it decides to slam on the brakes. The alarm goes off, it drops from 54 kilometers an hour to 38 for absolutely no reason that I could detect. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you do.